everybody, welcome to the channel. Today we are discussing honeycomb filters versus daisy filters. So the little flower ones versus the honeycomb looking ones. If you have not already, please hit the subscribe button, smash the thumbs up button, ring the notification bell, and comment below which one you prefer if you've used either. So basically, this is my first time buying glass screens. So I basically looked for the best deal. And what I found for pretty cheap was 50 glass daisy screens for $7.95 and they came with one honeycomb screen. It was actually $8.63 with shipping. So the amount that was was two of these full and then the honeycomb. So I want to show you what these look like before they're burnt. I don't have a honeycomb to show you before it's burnt, but I will put the picture of both of them probably on this side of the screen here. So that's what they look like. But here are these. And conveniently, these are like different sizes. I don't know if that's because these are not actually like name brand, name brand daisies or because I don't know, just the way they are. But also something to note is that some of them were broken in here. And I think that's just always going to happen that some are going to be broken because the way that they are like packaged and on top of each other. I'm trying to like take some out to show you what when I grab. See this little, little daisy screen here? So that's what it looks like. And I'll show you how it sits inside of the bowl. Basically, you just put the bottom part of like the flower, the stem, inside here and you drop it so it falls in the hole. Like, ah, like that. Okay, yeah, you can see it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> like that. And you just push it down so that it's in there. Like that. I wanted to show you. See, that was the part that went straight down into the bowl head. That makes sense, right? So the thing about the daisy filters is you really can only smoke one bowl with them and then it's clogged. So this is what they look like after you smoke with them. They're just like black and full of resin. One is the top and one is the bottom. There's like black from the resin. So basically you can only use these one time each. And I imagine you could probably clean them like if you want to go to the trouble of like getting boiling water and then putting them in that and soaking them or boiling them even. They're glass so I I assume you can do that if you don't want to buy more. I don't see why not. But better yet, instead of buying those at all, I would suggest just buying honeycombs because like you can buy three honeycombs for pretty cheap. You can buy 20 honeycombs for not that much and you can use them over and over and over and over and over. And when they do clog up, you can just take a safety pin or a paper clip and stab through the six holes and that's it. And then you can keep using it. So like, I think I've probably used this for at least like 25 bowls easily. So this is what this looks like with that fact being known. So it's pretty black, but as long as you can see through the holes, it will smoke. And that's what the honeycomb looks like. So yeah, definitely just skip the daisies, little flower filters, and go straight for the honeycombs because you can use these over and over, and you can probably wash these the same way, you know, like in hot water, boiling water, whatever, or like I said, just continue to poke through the holes, and then you can keep using it that way. And this just sets in here the same exact way. See how it's just in there like a circle? Yeah. Oh, fuck me. All right. Let's try again. See how it's in there? I'm just chilling. I'm gonna push it down so that it's not doing that. I'm gonna use a crystal. Yeah, it seems pretty good. So yeah, you just push it down and it sits like that and then you leave it there. You literally just leave it there until you have an issue and it's clogged and then you just poke through the holes with, like I said, a paper clip or safety pin and the honeycombs are definitely worth the money much more than the daisy screens not that the daisy screens don't work like if you're not cheap and you want to use disposable glass screens those are probably better because they're a lot cheaper and you they're just one-time use and then you take them out with the ashes and you put a new one in 
that's it. It's really no big deal. So if you want to do that, then I guess these would be the ones to go with. But if you don't want to keep spending money and you want a nice glass screen, the honeycombs. The honeycombs are the reusable ones. Let's put it that way. The daisies are disposable glass. The honeycombs are reusable glass. I unfortunately got 50 of the daisies and one honeycomb. But they're both fine. They both work. I like them both. That's the review. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you did not, please subscribe, hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video, ring the notification bell so you see when I upload, and comment what you think about the daisy screens or the honeycomb screens or screens in general, something else, whatever you think, what kind of videos you want to see. Get creative. Bye! Until next time, stay classy, darlings.